Kalyana Matrimonia, safe and secure matrimonia portal for all religions and community. JPR College of Arts and Science, admissions open for 2020-21. Courses offered BCom, BA, BSc and BBL. I mean, I was pushed into films actually. I had to find another alternative to earn a living and if I had to be an actor. Uh, you have done uh, your, the, the recent release which is going to uh, come as Tenet. So how did you land, land your role? And uh, I did my best and I sent it and after two days I got a call saying that, uh, okay, you're on. <laughs> so how was the experience like uh, being in a Christopher Nolan film? You're saying Christopher Nolan inspired. Mr. Nolan is one of those who come in that category of brilliance. Yeah. Because you're trying to give something new to the audience. How was it exploring the OTT? Masters covering their own hides. I still do not believe that it will, uh, it will overtake the cinema. You know, the experience of the cinema is unusual. This crime is not just heinous, it's insanity. Delhi crime is, uh, if not the best, but I think the best thing that came out of India on that OTT platform. It is, it is. If she was my girlfriend, I would have died for her. Irfan was a delight to work with. Why, why do these files all smell of vegetables? It, it's getting a very good response, excellent response. It's a great... Hello, Mr. Denzel Smith. Hi, Sidhu. How are you? Good to see you. We are going to talk about a lot of films that you have acted in. You have done regional films, you have done international films. How did uh, Hollywood films uh, come, come your way? The, the recent release, which is going to uh, come as Tenet. So, how did you land your role? Uh, I was uh, in Bangkok actually shooting for a commercial when I got a call from a casting agent in LA uh, saying, um, you know, this is this film uh, directed by Mr. Nolan. Uh, could you please uh, send a, a scene uh, which they sent me? Yeah, which was uh, from a, uh, some film. And uh, they said they want you to, they want to see you on tape of this film. So I said, fine. Uh, and uh, after I finished my shoot there, I, I knocked off all my makeup, etc., etc., and uh, told the makeup man, Cholo, just shoot this, let's uh, send it. And um, I did my best and I sent it, and after two days, I got a call mm -hmm. saying that, uh, okay, you're on. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it was a great relation. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, how was the experience like uh, being in a Christopher Nolan film, uh, having a having such big expectations on the film, working on a film like that? How was the experience, overall experience? There is a good, there is excellence, and then there is brilliance. Mr. Nolan is one of those who come in that category of brilliance. Yeah. He uh, has a vision uh, which he very effectively translates. Uh, he has this uh, amazing ability of uh, time-space reality, uh, you know, this uh, equation, uh, which he keeps employing, yeah, in different ways. It was a wonderful experience working with him and that crew. They are, it is the biggest film of Hollywood. And um, uh, there was, uh, there were some great people on it. Uh, there was Dimpil Kapadia, of course. Uh, who uh, is delightful to work with. And then there is also, uh, there was also John David Washington, who's a wonderful actor, uh -huh. uh, who was the lead, yeah. So we had a great time. I had a great time uh, just uh, being on that set and, and, and watching them, watching the rest of the crew and a great cinematographer and director work together. Uh, and uh, the stunts, uh, they were all fantastic. It was a great experience, yeah. You're not shooting the bullet, you're catching it. Okay. So what is Mr. Nolan's process of getting uh, work from actors? Uh, he just lets you be. You know, he has briefed you before and he then lets you be. And uh, as long as he's getting it right, he doesn't interfere and doesn't tell you anything. Yeah, as long as the scene is right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he just uh, keeps going, keep going, keep going. And he, and he just uh, looks at it, uh, uh, decides his angles. 
Oh. And uh, keep sticking. Yeah. How would you like to die? Old. You chose the wrong profession. So, uh, Tenet is, uh, is the upcoming release that you have. But before that, uh, you've done uh, quite a few projects which has resonated well with the Indian audience. Uh, for example, uh, Badla, Delhi Crime. Masters covering the own hides. So, f films and series like that. You've done films, but uh, how was it exploring the OTT? Because I've sp uh, spoken to a lot of actors who acted in OTT platforms and they've told me that the reach is better uh, in OTT compared to the theatre release. So, what is your take on that? Undoubtedly, uh, the, uh, this pandemic has made uh, uh, the OTT platforms uh, extremely uh, profitable uh, and has, uh, has uh, increased its reach, as it were. I, I don't know how much more of it, but I, I, I still do not believe that it will, um, it will overtake the cinema. You know, the experience of the cinema is unusual. Collectively, uh, sitting with people and uh, having an experience uh, like the cinema, you cannot replicate. Yeah. yeah. And that uh, will not go away. I think that will remain. Uh, once everything settles down, etc., etc., etc. Now about reach, I don't know. Uh, I never, I don't think about it. Uh, I, I do my job. And, uh, <laughs> so what's the case with Delhi crime? Because Delhi crime and Badla is uh, the, uh, your projects which was trending time and again in OTT, in the top 10 uh, list. This crime is not just heinous. It's insanity. Yeah. So, I would say what Delhi, was the response? Delhi crime is, uh, if not the best, but I think the best thing that came out of India on that OTT platform, it is, it is. If she was my girlfriend, I would have died for her. I'm looking forward to the, to the, to the, to the second season, which is coming soon, which is also uh, great, uh, well done. Yeah. So it's, uh, I don't know if they've uh, finished uh, the, the principal photography, uh, but that is going to be coming out soon. And that is also something to be looked forward to. I don't want to ever see a woman in this situation again. And it's always uh, uh, enriching to share screen, screen space with uh, talented veteran actors like uh, Amitabh Bachchan and uh, Mr. Irfan Khan. So you have done films with them. Uh, you have uh, done Lunchbox, you have done uh, Badla with uh, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. So how enriching was the experience to be able to share your thoughts? Uh, in Badla, I did not have a scene with Mr. Bachchan, but okay. in uh, Lunchbox, I did, and I had another film which I did a small film with uh, Irfan. It was called Rogue. Rogue. Uh, it was. It was. Uh, yes, uh, Irfan was a delight to work with. And uh, one more thing. Why? Why do these files all smell of vegetables? And um, it is. It's really sad. We've lost a great actor. He yeah, was. He uh, was. Uh, also a great human being, you know, uh, and uh, we will miss him. I think Indian cinema will miss him. He has left a, a sufficient body of work, which we can enjoy. Uh, but it was a, a lovely experience working with Irfan on Lunchbox and Rogue. And, and you have not made one single mistake. You know, I would not depend on anyone. So, as an actor, uh, what is your process? How do you prepare before a shoot? Uh, yeah, there, there you, sometimes you get the script much in advance and uh, you can prepare and you uh, have the, the whole thing in front of you and you know exactly when it's a historical character, then uh, uh, much research is uh, necessary. You know, like when I did uh, Jinnah, uh, uh, I had to do a lot of reading and uh, watch a lot of uh, videos on him. Uh, so that entails that you need time for that and preparation. Uh, that that sort of historical stuff needs preparation. Yeah. Uh, there are other projects where you uh, have to just go on set cold and just uh, okay, what is it? They they do not uh, <laughs> tell you anything. Sometimes the <laughs> the script comes to you one five minutes before you're going on. So you have to use your common sense.
<laughs> so that's what that's what happened with Tenet because I I heard that the uh, script was kept so secret that uh, actors like uh, uh, Patterson were locked inside a room be- uh, when they re- when they were reading the script. That part is a little dramatic. So yes, he that's is, the case. Yes, yes, yes. He's very he is extremely secretive about it, and they did give it to me a uh, uh, couple of days before actually. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I had I was briefed on it a few days before, uh, with a strict uh, NDA, uh, non-disclosure agreement. Uh, yes, that that is true. So, what kind of response is the film getting uh, from the countries that it has been released? It it's getting it, it's getting a very good response, excellent response. It's a great, it's a it's a it's a great story, great film. I'm looking forward to seeing it, you know, myself. I haven't seen it, so uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing it. And many of my friends are. I know that, and it's quite an eagerly awaited film, uh, and uh, which is not going to disappoint that much, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that that's the case with Mr. Nolan's films, right? Even in India, there are so many fans who are eagerly waiting for uh, for a Nolan film. That's not uh, that's not confined only to India. That's world over. Mm-hmm. That's the world over. It's a... Yeah, you you've also done a series uh, based on uh, Sopraj, Mr. Sopraj's uh, history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, recently shot. I don't know when. That is a BBC Netflix series uh, called The Serpent, mm-hmm. uh, where I play uh, uh, Charles Sopraj's Horton Horton uh, Sopraj, uh, Charles Sopraj's father. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, there was a, there's a fantastic uh, French actor called Tahir Rahim, uh, who is playing uh, Charles Sobraj, and I play his father. Yes, we shot that in Bangkok in November. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Actually, it's a it's a, it's a BBC Netflix series. Uh, I have no idea when it will be released. Yeah. Great. So, how crucial was your theatre days in shaping up your career? Oh, my theater days was very, very, very uh, inspiring and lovely and uh, fabulous, actually, which my theater days haven't ended yet. So I, I still do theater. Um, but I did uh, a lot of it in my early days. And I, I was, uh, uh, that is what drew me, actually, uh, to acting. And uh, I had uh, quite a, a uh, uh, wonderful time first in amateur theater and then later on uh, when i joined motley which is uh, mr nasiruddin shah's group you know nasiruddin shah benjamin gilani akash khurana when i joined these uh, these thespians you might call them the greats uh, it really took off and i i i learned a lot yeah hmm. and mr Nazi- nasiruddin shah is more like a guru to you yes he is that's what he is right. So, how would you yes. describe your days with them? A uh, days of immense learning, immense learning and uh, growth. Uh, you know, just uh, being directed and uh, seeing uh, him work very closely, seeing him rear, seeing him on stage, seeing his co-actors, the other people like Benjamin Gilani and Akash Kurana, all of them work together. You know, uh, that was uh, truly uh, inspiring and and uh, and, a, and a great learning experience in my early days. Uh-huh. So, how did uh, films happen? Feature films. You were you were in a theater days. You were you were doing theater uh, plays and all. And then, how did you come into films? How did that happen? I was pretty idealistic actually when I started off with theater, uh, like most people who do theater are. <laughs> And uh, I thought uh, I will just do theater and I will um, make a living from it. But that was not to be. Soon I realized that uh, uh, theater is, um, in India at least, is uh, more of a, a sort of a hobby thing. Yeah, uh, people just indulge in it for, for their own pleasure. And uh, there are, the economics really doesn't work out. Yeah, at least in Indian English theater. Maybe in some languages like uh, Gujarati and uh, Bengali, uh, you know, they have commercial plays and even Marathi, you know, that it's a quite a, there is an 
you might call an industry there. But in Indian English theatre, it is it doesn't exist. Uh, uh, living off it is not practical. So uh, I mean, I was pushed into films. Actually, I had to find another alternative to earn a living. And if I had to be an actor and also continue with my theatre, I had to find film work. So I started with films slowly. Yeah. Right. Voice is a very important factor in acting, and your I think you're blessed with a great voice. Have, have someone said it, said that to you? Yes, they often say that. Thank you very much. Yes, but it doesn't <laughs> just happen. It just yeah. doesn't happen. You have to work on it. Yeah. Uh, people what have kind of people have natural timbres, uh, uh, but it has to be developed and uh, trained. And I did some workshops with. Uh, uh, some voice specialists like uh, Dr. Ranade, the late Dr. Ranade from the NCPA, who was an ex, who was an authority on uh, voice, and uh, those exercises and uh, that little bit of training helped me a lot. Yeah. All the best for your future projects, including Tenet. Thank uh, you. So great ex expectations for the film. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, all the best. Kalyana Matrimony, a safe and secure matrimony portal for all religions and community. JPO College of Arts and Science, admissions open for 2020-21. Courses offered BCom, BA, BSc and BBL.